Hi there. Well, today we're going to be learning a little bit about radon and using a radon sensor to test underneath my house to make sure I'm not at risk. So radon is a colorless, odorless and tasteless radioactive gas, which is produced naturally in the environment when uranium in rock and soil starts to break down. It's released directly from the ground into the outdoor environment. Now, when you're outdoors, it's normally pretty safe because you've got fresh air moving it away continuously. But when it appears underneath your house where you're exposed to the soil, you want to make sure that that is not going to make its way up into the home. So I'm going to show you today this little sensor that's designed to measure this and make sure that we're safe. So the Aeronet range of sensors are really great. I've tested the CO2 one before and was really impressed. They come with this e-ink display, which is really nice and clear, and they are offering up to seven years battery life or four and a half years when the Bluetooth signal is running. So the device is 71 millimeters by 71 millimeters in width and height, and it has a operating temperature of zero to 50 degrees Celsius and humidity range up to 85%. So having a look at the screen, we've got a beautifully clear readout of our temperature and humidity, our radon level, we've got our battery level, and then down here we've got this indicator level telling you whether it's safe or not. If we look at the size, this is quite a large device. I believe this is because of the size of the actual radon sensor itself. So on the side here, we've got the battery case. So you just clip this open by sticking your finger in there and the two batteries which are supplied go in with the positive over here and the positive down on that side and then we just clip that closed and then on the side here we have this little button so it's got a press and then you can either shift it up or down so as you can see when it comes on first of all we've got this little error net signal and it comes up with this code now it tells us that we've got three actions using the up, down and the press. So we go press to continue and now it will start doing its first measuring. So the first measurement takes 10 minutes and thereafter it will refresh itself automatically. To put this device into pairing mode, we press the button on the side here and we scroll down until we get pair. We press pairing and now it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. We select the Aeronet 4 app we go along and we give it a sensor name. So I'm just going to call it Radon. You'll see there it gives you a serial number and the revision of the device. And we can set the measurement interval. We want to have the smart home integration switched on and Bluetooth through the range as normal. Now we go add device and it will start searching for the device. There we go. It's found it. So we go add that. We go accept. Now it will pop up a little code on the device and all you do is enter the code into the pairing request here. We then press next. It will go through these configuration advice. We can select our units. So the app is very simple. As you can see, we've got our radon level. We've got our temperature, humidity and our pressure. Um, over here, you can go into your settings and you can give it a name. You can also adjust the units for temperature, radon, and also you can select whether the buzzer is going to go off. Um, you can select your Bluetooth range, so there's a boost mode, and we want to have smart home integration on, so we can integrate with this with Home Assistant, and it will show we also have these warning uh, defaults, so we can actually adjust these to set out custom levels if we want to. So let's see if we can connect the sensor up to Home Assistant. So we go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and we select Aronet. We click on that, and there we go. We've got an Aronet sensor coming up. Let's go Submit, and it's created this. We'll add a new floor. We'll say a Sub Floor because this is going under my house. We'll go Add and we'll give it an icon so we have our humidity pressure radon concentration and temperature all pulling through into home assistant as well as our battery and we've got the update interval there if we want it 
So overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of this little device. And as you can see, it integrates super easily into Home Assistant. It's integrated via Bluetooth. So you would need to have a Bluetooth proxy or some other means of connecting via Home Assistant to Bluetooth. Anyway, that's all for me now. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.